PC motor speed, can be indirectly controlled by controlling armature current. This video, describes the design cascade control system, which has two control loops. The purpose of first control loop is in last video, determine the set point of armature current, according to comparison between actual speed and target speed. The purpose of second control loop, secure armature current set point, and so on secure target speed. The main objective of this video, illustrates how the armature current of the DC motor, and so on the speed of DC motor, can be controlled using cascade control system. The performances of cascade, are demonstrated using MATLAB Simulink software, under various operation conditions. The speed control, according to this figure, uses the current control, designed in the last video, as subordinate section, whereby the transfer function, of the current control loop, is approximated as follows. Together, with the transfer function of the mechanics, the following system function must be controlled. The PI current controller, was designed in the last video, using the amplitude optimum. For speed control, the so-called symmetrical optimum is used. The symmetrical optimum, represents another important optimization criterion, in electrical drive technology. It is preferably used, for systems with an integrating component. With the plant parameters, the parameters of API controller, designed according to the symmetrical optimum, can easily be specified. So, the transfer function, of the speed control circuit, is calculated according to symmetric optimum, to this expression. The Simulink current control model expands, to include the speed control loop with the speed feedback, and the number of to workspace, input, and output blocks also increases, to allow better examination of the system. The pulse generator block, which generates speed pulses, is now used as the reference generator. Additionally a step load torque, is defined as disturbance variable, fed into the system.
Using the example system DC shunt machine, the individual steps, from setting up the control loop in Simulink, to calculating the controller coefficients were shown. In the next videos, we will analyze the machine's state control, and design the necessary state observers. Thank you for your attention, supporters, if you are interested in such topics.